Late last June, a mob of BLM lunatics smashed the gate on Mark and Patricia McCloskey's house in St. Louis. They stormed onto the McCloskey's lawn and shouted threats at them as the McCloskey's were eating dinner. The McCloskey's hadn't done anything. They didn't know anyone in the crowd. They were just the wrong color. And for that reason, they got screamed at and threatened. That's the point at which Mark and Patricia McCloskey went inside and got firearms to defend themselves. Because if you can't defend yourself in your own home, when a mob shows up to hurl racist epithets at you, it's not really worth living in the country. That was our view. It's the view of most people. We had actually Mark McCloskey on the show two days later. And he made that point. He wasn't very political at the time. If anything, I think he was a Democrat. It didn't matter. That's a fundamental right. And maybe because it is a fundamental right, prosecutors in St. Louis filed criminal charges against Mark and Patricia McCloskey a few weeks later. Their lives changed forever, and a lot of their opinions seem to have changed, too. Now, Mark McCloskey is running for the United States Senate as a Republican in the state of Missouri. Here's part of his announcement video. When the angry mob came to destroy my house and kill my family, I took a stand against them. Now I'm asking for the privilege to take that stand for all of us. When the fascist mob came to my door, it woke me up. I saw what the future of America will be if we don't all stand up right now and defend our rights. My name is Mark McCloskey. I will defend the people of Missouri. You have my word. I will never back down. Amazing. Mark McCloskey joins us now. We're happy he is. Mark, thanks so much for coming on. Boy, that moment really did change everything for you, it seems like. It really did, Tucker. And, you know, I'll have to correct one thing. I've never been a Democrat. That was the, the worst fake news slur that, that, that has been hurled at me over the oh, last 10 months. whatever. <laughs> I, I, I've always been a Republican, but I've never been a politician. But, you know, God came knocking on my door last summer disguised as an angry mob, and it, it really did wake me up. And as I campaigned for the president last fall, and as we've continued to do rallies and events supporting our constitutional rights, what I've learned is that the people out there in this country are just sick and tired of cancel culture and the poison of critical race theory and the big lie of systemic racism, all backed up by the threat of mob violence. And people are just sick of it. They don't want any more posers and egotists and career politicians going to D.C. All we hear is talk and nothing ever changes. Yeah. It, it just seemed to me that... that People have to stand up. Each and every one of us needs to stand up now and say we're not sheep. We're free people. We're going to pull the power back to the people. And the people that need to go into politics at every level, from the local school board, like your, like your guest John earlier today, the local city council, your mayors, your state representatives, your state senators, your United States senators, you have to send people to D.C. that are willing to tell the truth willing to fight for our freedoms, regardless of what it costs you personally, economically, socially. If we don't stand up now and take this country back, it's going away. We used to talk about the erosion of our civil liberties. In the last hundred and some days since this administration has taken over, there's been the wholesale slaughter of our civil liberties and wholesale yeah. institution of what cannot be called anything but socialism. People being paid with our money to stay home and not work. And, and, our, and our president says, gee, I don't think that's taking place. It's just everything is nonsense. Everything has been upside down, and it's time to straighten things back up. Mark McCluskey, I appreciate it. I have to say I'd forgotten this one fact. Watching the video just now of that day, June 28th of last year, you were denounced by The Washington Post as a racist for defending your house. <laughs> but a lot of the mob were like pampered white kids, I guess, as always. Oh. <laughs> I've forgotten Absolutely. that. Of course they were. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Oh no. You know, Mark Lusky, congratulations. All right, I'll just say for if, I'm sorry? you know, if everybody out there can can help out uh five, ten dollars, McCloskey for Senate.com. I sure appreciate it. The left's gonna come down on us like a ton of bricks. We need all the help we can get. I appreciate your coming on. Thank you, Mark McCloskey. Thanks, Tucker. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.